हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस केमिकल कार्सिनोजेनेसिस नाउ टू नेम फ्यू कार्सिनोजेन कार्सिनोजेन कुड बी डायरेक्टली एक्टिंग और कुड बी प्रो कार्सिनोजेंस प्रो कार्सिनोजेंस आर दोज विच रिक्वायर मेटाबॉलिकल एक्टिवेशन टू बिकम कार्सिनोजन नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट डायरेक्टली एक्टिंग कार्सिनोजेंस दे कुड बी एल्काइलेटिंग एजेंट्स और कुड बी एसाइलेटिंग एजेंट्स example of alkylating agents is dimethyl sulfate and some anti cancer drug like cyclophosphamide chlorambucil or nitrosourea now acylating agent examples are dimethyl carbamyl chloride or one acetyl one imidazole now talking about pro carcinogens which require metabolic activation examples like polycyclic or heterocyclic aromatic hydrocarbons like benzopyrene or benzoanthracene then we have aromatic amines or aromatic amides or azodyes like 2 naphthylamine or benzidine then there are natural plant and microbial products like aflatoxin b1 griseofulvin betel nuts then there are others like insecticide pesticide fungicide vinyl chloride nickel chromium polychlorinated biphenyls so these are some of the examples now talking about the steps involved in chemical carcinogenesis so there are two important steps initiation and promotion now what happens in initiation is uh, it result from the exposure of the cell to the sufficient dose of a carcinogenic agent so first of all the cell is exposed to the carcinogenic agent and it causes a permanent dna damage it causes mutation and this is a rapid step this is reversible it has memory now what does a promoter does promoter induces tumor in an initiated cell it itself is non tumorigenic it cannot induce tumors itself okay so uh, they themselves do not cause mutation but promote proliferation in a mutated cell so this is a diagram we uh, have a carcinogen which uh, could be directly acting or could require metabolic activation to become a electrophilic intermediate now what will happen this will bind to the dna and form adduct formation and it cause a permanent dna damage so this will be an initiated cell in between we can say that the carcinogen or its in, uh, intermediate could detoxify and get excreted also and also the dna adduct which is formed it could uh, there could be dna repair and it could return back to a normal cell or there could be cell death of the cell apoptosis would happen now uh, some of them would be mutated now it doesn't cause uh, cancer we require a promoter okay the next phase is promotion there is cell proliferation there is altered differentiation and it becomes a pleonoplastic clones and with additional mutation uh, it turns into a malignant neoplasm okay so these are the two phases we require we require an initiation and then uh, initiation which causes a permanent dna damage it causes mutation and then we require a promotion uh, so that it converts into a malignant neoplasm directly acting agent they require no metabolic conversion to become a carcinogen also they are weak carcinogens they are important why because some of them are used in cancer chemotherapy as well now indirectly acting uh, indirectly acting carcinogens they require metabolic activation uh, to become a carcinogen and this metabolic activation requires the enzymes like cytochrome p450 and we know that the cytochrome p450 shows a lot of polymorphism therefore susceptibility to carcinogenesis is variable not everybody who is exposed will get cancer okay now what is the molecular target of the uh, chemical carcinogens dna is the target of the carcinogen like uh, commonly mutated some tumor suppressor gene could be p53 and commonly mutated oncogene is ras oncogene now if we talk about aflatoxin if uh, is a natural product which is involved in hepatocellular carcinogen car, uh, carcinoma now what does it cause it causes mutation in p53 which is a tumor suppressor gene it uh, it causes gc to ta transversion in the codon 249 of the p53 so this is all about